we and other nations have a great responsibility to promote the peaceful use of space. At a critical moment, he knew the difference between strength that comes from peace for the benefit of all mankind. rather than the strength of war. Eisenhower was in favor of having an organization that was um, a civilian. Uh, Eisenhower did not want a military uh, organization. He wanted a civilian agency. And it was remarkable because it went up, the Sputnik went up on October the 4th, 57. And by July of 58, we had NASA set up. Be it enacted by the Senate and House of Representatives of the United States of America, we hereby declare that it is the policy of the United States that activities in space should be devoted to peaceful purposes for the benefit of all mankind. The Congress further declares that space activity shall be directed by a civilian agency and shall be conducted so as to contribute materially to the expansion of human knowledge. To ensure that NASA was controlled by civilians, Eisenhower moved funding for all manned space programs from the military to NASA. Last week, the president transferred Von Braun's Huntsville team and their Saturn project to the National Aeronautics and Space Agency. When told of their transfer to NASA, Von Braun and others threatened to quit. When Eisenhower threatened back, Von Braun joined NASA to work on sending an astronaut into space and returning him safely to Earth. As Christmas approached, Eisenhower attempted to pull off one of the most daring acts of any American president. He developed a top secret project codenamed SCORE with a team of 88 hand-picked civilians and soldiers. They built an audio tape player designed to be launched into space that would play a personal message from the president that everyone, everywhere could hear. Eisenhower was so determined to keep SCORE a secret, it would be launched without the awareness or approval of Congress, the military, or even the CIA. Less than a minute remains in the countdown. Eight, seven, six, five, Newsman Jay Barbary saw it all. It launched at 6.02 p.m. December the 18th. Once the satellite was in orbit, a radio signal was sent from the ground to start the tape recorder that keeps playing over and over a message of seasoned greetings from the United from the President of the United States. President Eisenhower said to the press, that's one of the most astounding things. Maybe the next thing they'll do is televise pictures. After SCORE, many government leaders were furious at what Ike had done. They called SCORE an expensive stunt, orchestrated by a president in trouble. But it was not. SCORE symbolized the future. For Eisenhower had given us the world's first communication satellite. You know, when we 
we're talking about the beginning of the space age of the Sputniks. It is the same as the Christopher Columbus discovering America. You just entered the new world without real understanding of the consequences. So we were very proud that we first opened this door in space. The, the main reaction, I, I hope we learn, I don't know if we will, that Sputnik really was meant to be a peaceful evidence of our scientific capabilities. If we can detach Sputnik from rockets with warheads, that would be a great way to end this 50 years. <laughs>